Hello, welcome to a firm live tutorial on using Google Classroom. A firm life is our confirmation ministry here at Christ Lutheran Church, and we're trying something completely different. We are using Google Classroom to get all the information we need. And so I'm doing a tutorial so you can really learn what Google Classroom is and how to use it. So if you would bring up your computer, if you just go to a Google search, pull up Google Classroom and it should come up. Um, I'm using my son's computer just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the student side of the, the, the classroom and he has a CMS account. I much rather you use a email account that's a personal account, not their school, because they don't always get all the emails. Emails get blocked from them, which is very appropriate. I have an email account that my kids use that I also monitor, and that's what I would suggest. Um, so here I am changing out which email address I'm using and I'm using my son's right now. I have already set him up in Google Classroom for a firm life. Um, so how you do this is you can either email myself or another pastor to get um, on the classroom. I would like your email address and your child's email address so you are always um, fully communicated to. Um, you could also go to Google Classroom and the code is A-I-L-J-Z-F-J. -J. That is A-I-L-J-Z-F-J. -J. And that will get you onto the Affirm Life Google Classroom as well. So here we are on the front page under stream of the Google Classroom page. And here we will put any announcements that we have going on. This is maybe some activity that we have, um, maybe a get together, maybe something you really need to know, information that is important for that week. So look at the front page for that information. Um, the next section will be the classwork. And this is where the heart of everything we do will be. Um, first of all, here is Welcome to a Firm Life, and I'm going to have this video right under here. Um, and so this just happens to have information that is good for all year long. Um, I will make sure that is all in there. Uh, so weekly assignments. This is where I will post the lesson each week. The lessons will be taught by myself or any other pastor on staff or lay small group uh, leader. Um, and so each lesson should be about 20 minutes long. It will cover anything from the New Testament, Old Testament, or catechism. And after each les lesson, there will be a small response. So I know that you have seen this assignment and have posted about it. The next thing that is important, the teaching time and then the projects. So the requirement for, for a firm life is six projects to be confirmed, and that's a minimum. Um, the projects are really where we get to the heart of what we're doing. The projects connect these lessons to your life, the life of the student, and especially that faith life. Um, so there are uh, one, two, three, four, five categories of um, projects. First, service. This is serving in worship, uh, being an acolyte crucifer 
or serving our neighbor, um, doing service projects outside your home. So there are different projects that you can look at with serving. Before you are confirmed, at least um, the new sixth graders coming in who will be getting six, at least the minimum of six projects done, you need one in each of these categories. So service, such an important part of our response back to God. The next is worship. We're not requiring worship notes any longer, but this worship project will really get you in the heart of worship. So looking at how a pastor crafts a ser sermon, being in worship leadership, something to that effect where you're relating this uh, worship life to your life and how your faith uh, develops through worshiping. The next one is the Old Testament project looking at a book in the Old Testament and applying it to, to your life in some form or fashion. Um, next, New Testament, same as Old Testament, just different books of the Bible. Um, and then the last project area is catechism. And this is Lord's Prayer, Creed, Ten Commandments, looking at those and relating them to your faith life and how you have developed um, so these projects are um, really supposed to look at your gifts, see what interests you, and um, really get you to connect, like I said, your faith life and your, your everyday life. So let's just take a look at one. Um, how about baptism tweet? We'll look at that. Uh, let's view, view this assignment. So this gives you um, an idea of what it is. So research about what Lutherans believe about baptism. And you may say, Pastor Melly, where do I go find it? I have attached a website of the small catechism that really goes into answering those questions of what Lutherans believe in baptism. So I'm going to give you all the information you need to do this. You also have myself and your small group leaders if you want more information. So then it says also read the scripture references about baptism found in the small catechism. So once you go to this website, there are scripture references. I want you to go look, read those scriptures, ponder them, think about what's happening in them, and then fill out this attached form to go deeper into what baptism means. So let's go to this form. And then you see there are several questions that relate your baptism and what's happening in baptism itself. So do you remember anything about your baptism? What does baptism look like? Really fill this out and submit it. So then we go back to this and then write a tweet that answers the question, what is baptism? So a tweet, you know, it could only be so many words long. So this is summing up baptism for you in just a few sentences. Um, so these projects are meant to um, not be done in one afternoon. You, I want a lot of thought and effort put into this. I want this to be something that really helps you grow in your faith. So let's talk about the next part of a firm life, and that is the people, the small group. So I have the leaders here, um, teachers, but then um, I will also have all the students, and the students make up your small group. For the Providence campus, we will be meeting in gender and grade specific small groups um, in Christ South, Christ South itself will just be one small group and Christ Concord will also be one small group. So what do you do in small group? Small group is where we come together and talk about the highs and lows in our life, talk about what's happening 
Um, if you have a question about the teaching, bring that up in small group. That's what your small group leaders are for. But then also the small group is to really dive deep into these projects. This gives you a time to really work on these projects. Um, I haven't said this before, but these projects can be group projects as well. Um, you can work in a group. Um, I, I would like you to, over the course of these six projects, at least one be a group project and at least one be an individual project. So if you're really into working as a group, do as many as you want, but at least one needs to be individual. And if you'd rather work by yourself, that's great, but I want one to be with a group. Um, so as uh, we look at these projects, that small group time is really to help you work on these projects. So if you take 20 minutes and do the lesson and then are with your small group, for about 40 minutes, that's an hour a week that you should be able to get all these projects done with no problem. So that is the time that I'm asking you to put in is an hour a week. Um, and uh, so if you have any questions, I am here for you. Once you pick a project, tell me what it is and then I will assign that to you. So then you will be getting updates like, oh, I need that to be done by December. Um, I will give you plenty of time to work on it. Um, also, if there is something that you really want to do, if you have a passion that you really want to uh, involve in this, talk to me about it. If you are a painter, Let's bring in that gift and see how we can use it in all of these various areas. Um, so the projects are not limited to what I have here on Google Classroom. Please, I would love to work with you and work with your gifts that God has given you to explore your faith more. Um, if you have any questions about our Google Classroom and what we have going on, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here for you. I'm walking with you on this journey. So thank you. I am so excited to start this journey with you. This is going to be a great year. God bless.